Mm, wow. Was there something in your mind you wanted to do after, after the circle had completed? Because it seems like a whole era. So now, yeah, I, I wanted I wanted to live. I wanted to um, <laughs> I wanted to do all the things that I had never done. Um, you have to remember, I, I was on the road from 1972 until 1986, and I never ever stopped. Not one time. Wow. There was no breaks in that whole time. Had you so, made a list? <laughs> yeah, my list was was uh, li live in a house in one place. <laughs> right. Uh, get not married, sleep in a bus. <laughs> get married. Get married. Kid, wow. Okay. Get married. Have a kid. Um, and that's exactly what I did. I I Good sold everything I owned. I uh, moved. I moved to Colorado and uh, met my future wife, and we built a house and had a kid. And for about ten years, I hardly did any music. And wow, I lived in the mountains, and I kind of I became a different person. So it was just uh, something I needed to do. One one last question I have. Um, I know that you're, you once lived next door to Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah. Oh God. What was oh. that shit like? Psychedelics. Well, that's, that's what happened when I, when, when I, when I left New York city and I kind of started my life over again, moved to Colorado. Um, I was with my, my girlfriend who later became my wife and, uh, we, uh, we found a little piece of property. She actually found it in Woody Creek, Colorado, which is, um, and we, uh, we, it was, it was just a piece of land with a little cabin and uh, we were going to build a house. And so we, I remember one day we at, went out there to look at it and we were standing uh, with a real estate agent and on the property and we heard a shotgun blast. Mm -hmm. And then on the, on the roof of the cabin, this metal roof, we heard all the shotgun pellets, you know, like that. And we we're like, what the hell is that? And the real estate agent, oh, that's your neighbor, Hunter Thompson. He said, don't worry, he's fine. You, you'll, you'll get to meet him later. I was like, I said, is this going to be a problem? And <laughs> he, said, he said, no, 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 it's going to be all right. And so we, we ignored that. And um, his, uh, if, you, if you know anything about Hunter, you know, he had mm. that red car, land park that he drove yes. in, the, in the field of loathing. Mm -hmm. Well, that was, parked, that was parked in our cabin. Um, he didn't own the property, but the, the property had been abandoned for years. So he just stuck his car in the little cabin. So we were going to take that cabin and convert it into an apartment where we could live while we built our house. Mm -hmm. So I kept going up and knocking on his door because he literally was right across the road. I would knock on his door and hopefully, you know, to introduce myself and say, hey, man, we got to get your car out of the cabin. And he never answered the door ever because he would sleep all day and stay up all night. And I would go, always go during the day. So, right. I didn't realize. so finally, I just, the keys were in the car. I put a jumper cables on it. I jumped oh, it, shit. I started it. I drove it up onto his lawn. Oh. I parked it directly in front of his kitchen door and I left it there. And I knew him for 25 years. He never said a word to me about it. <laughs> <laughs> he probably thought he did it. He, he probably uh, thought right. he did it in the middle of the he night. Was, yes. Or, yeah. or it just <laughs> appeared there some, for some reason. Wow, but, you man. Know, we, we used to go up to his house and uh, we used to watch Monday Night Football with him and the sheriff. And uh, <laughs> He did something normal, like watch football? Oh, that, he was a major sports junkie. He was a huge sports fan. Um, wow. That's all his whole thing. And then, uh, then we went to the funeral, too, with Johnny Depp did, you know, where, where they mm. shot his ashes out of the cannon and all that. We were there for that. It was wow. I didn't know they did that at the funeral. That is wow. Crazy. Wow. Yeah, Just who you want uh, for a neighbor when you're trying to get away from it all, right? <laughs> <laughs> for real. He was actually, you know what though? He was actually a really good, uh, a good guy. He he liked being Hunter Thompson. You know, he liked mm. he liked the image. You know, he liked the hat and the cigarette holder and mm. the motorcycle with the glass of bur you know, gin. Um, but down, you know, he was a southern gentleman. He was from Kentucky. And if he liked you and it broke all that down, he was he was really cool and he was really smart.